Welcome to the RSP Boiler Room. I'm Matt Waldman with the Rookie Scouting Portfolio. Today we're going to take another look at Luke Falk, the quarterback from Washington State, with the context of footwork. Why is footwork so important for quarterback play? It's something that's always discussed in scouting reports and that football analysts always talk about it, but you don't always get the complete breakdown as to what the football what the footwork actually does to help a player or hurt a player and we're going to look at this context with Falk a couple of times because he has a flaw with his footwork that affects several areas of his game and this is common with a lot of quarterbacks Josh Allen of Wyoming has issues like this as well and what it is is that he does not set up in a stance that's narrow enough to keep the ball down and we're going to watch this on this second and 12 play looks like a decent stance but it's a little wide it's a little wider than shoulder width and watch how when he hops and sets up that back foot goes a little further back and widens his stance a little bit more he needs to stop doing this and I'm going to show you why because he's going to target number 21 over here on this crossing around at the right hash working to the left and watch him overshoot this because his stance is already too wide before he even steps through the throw and he can't step through the throw he tries to do so and you see that leg move out but he doesn't have any further to go because it's already wide it means he's to get any type of power on this throw he has to push up off of his feet and when you push up off the balls of your feet the ball sails goes right over the head of the receiver watch it one more time from the beginning of the sequence one is because he d takes a little shuffle step to drop but he doesn't really set his feet well he hops into a position his feet are fine here but he doesn't know how to keep his feet at the narrow base that back foot goes wide again he can't really step he realizes the limitations of that step he's trying to push off to get power ball sails interception drive over here's an earlier play it's going to be a deep out you have a trips right set he's reading these two safeties when he reads the safety outside the right hash playing the middle of the field he knows he's got a one-on-one -on -one with this corner how the cornerback in this situation is already facing the quarterback here and looking inside so that's going to give the quarterback an advantage to throw this out look at the footwork as he finishes his base here now he's got to open up his hips well he plants that first one and the stance is a little bit wide and he's never able to follow all the way through he doesn't really follow through all the way with that front foot now part of that is pressure so it's not necessarily fully a technical issue on his end with this particular play but I'm showing you the physics of what happens when you can't step through a throw the ball sails now let's look at a play where the ball sails on his own doing because of his lack of technique this is a deep throw that he's going to deliver to the outside and watch this drop it's got plenty he's got he shows arm strength here this is a 48 yard throw from pitch to catch to the, from the right hash to the left outside flat but look how wide his stance is when you throw this wide not only does the ball sail but you're not getting velocity on the throw not your maximum velocity and it, what happens is you're throwing a ball that has a high trajectory that's lofted in the air and watch the receiver slow down here to try and catch this ball see how he begins to slow down at the 30 He's slowing down because he has to track this ball that's high in the air and not thrown with enough velocity. It needs to be at a lower trajectory point, lower angle. It doesn't have to be this arcing rainbow. You could deliver it with a drive it just a little bit more. It doesn't have to be 
unbelievably low or flat. It just needs to have less arc than this. If he does that, the safety coming from across the field probably doesn't arrive at the time he does to hit the receiver and knock the play dead at this stage. Now, we see a penalty being called on the play, but this throw, if it's a better throw with better footwork, the receiver's not in harm's way. And it all steps starts with the steps in the drop. That hop, his feet aren't in control. He needs to be more precise with his feet when he finishes the drop and sets up. He's got to learn to have his feet closer together in the setup so that he can really step through a throw. Now it's a difficult throw to make, so making an opposite hash deep throw like this is not easy. But it's a thing that we've seen in his game on intermediate plays as well as deep plays. And it's something he's going to have to correct if he wants to be a top-notch pro in the NFL. That hop, his feet aren't in control. He needs to be more precise with his feet when he finishes the drop and sets up. He's got to learn to have his feet closer together in the setup. so that he can really step through a throw. Now it's a difficult throw to make, so making an opposite hash deep throw like this is not easy. But it's a thing that we've seen in his game on intermediate plays as well as deep plays. And it's something he's gonna have to correct if he wants to be a top-notch pro in the NFL. This is a correctable issue, but it's going to take a lot of time, effort, and repetition. Thanks again for watching. For more RSP Boiler Room videos, you can check out my YouTube channel, The RSP Film Room, or my blog at www.mattwaldmanrsp.com.